Panuveitis, how not to miss it. Panuveitis is uveitis, which involves the anterior, intermediate and posterior uveal structures. So here's the case. To start with, we can look at the cornea. The cornea looks fairly clear. There are no keratic precipitates. Now at first glance, the anterior chamber might seem quite quiet, but when we look carefully, we can actually see there is a mild anterior chamber reaction. That's a good going, at least one plus cells. Now in the anterior vitreous, we can also see a good number of cells in the anterior vitreous. This patient has a systemic history, which I won't tell you, um, and they've got a history of recurrent intermediate and panuveitis, retinochoroiditis, and they presented with an acute worsening of their vision, typical of what they have experienced previously. So if you look nasally, infranasally, which is in the top right hand corner of the view, you could see some almost white dots there. And now you can see some whitening in the retina there, and some almost punctate lesions in the, in the retina. And this is this retinochoroiditis. So in general, if you see a patient like this, they need urgent review and they need an urgent systemic investigation to identify an underlying cause. This could be viral, it could be toxoplasmosis, it could be syphilis, it could be sarcoidosis, TB, Bichette's, you name it. There's lots of causes, but you really need to find this out urgently and implement an appropriate treatment.